Today, autonomous cars are feasible in a chaotic environment, so we asked ourselves, could autonomous air traffic control be feasible in a controlled environment? At LFV, we have made an effort to get closer to the answer. Let's look at how we did it. Air traffic control is relying heavily on technology already, with radars, radios, networks and navigational aids. But at its core are humans. The humans are there for safety reasons and their capability of managing complex situations. But are we now at a point in technological achievement where humans could be alleviated from a considerable portion of their complex tasks, even in air traffic control? The primary purpose of air traffic control worldwide is to prevent collisions, organize and expedite the flow of air traffic, and provide information and other support for pilots. Air traffic controllers monitor the location of aircraft in their assigned airspace by radar and communicate with the pilots by radio. To prevent collisions, air traffic control enforces traffic separation rules, which ensure each aircraft maintains a minimum amount of empty space around it at all times. Air traffic controllers, like every other human being, have a certain work capacity. So in this project, we raised a hypothesis. If we provide air traffic controllers with artificial intelligence to automate some of their tasks, they could potentially increase their work capacity and handle more flights. To reach this vision, there are challenges on the way. We have to take many aspects into consideration, like explainability of AI, human-machine interaction, safety aspects, infinite traffic scenarios to potentially train on, weather conditions, financial costs, and redundancy. To address these challenges, we have partnered in this project with the IBM Garage and IBM Research. We have performed design thinking workshops to co-create the challenges and solutions together with air traffic controllers and data science experts. The workshops were performed to define a minimum viable product, the smallest and most well-defined solution to mitigate the biggest risks. The project team then entered the AI modeling phase and created the back-end application. These were then deployed and connected to NARSIM, an air traffic control simulator. With the help of IBM Streams service, we were able to test how the AI model behaves in the NARSIM simulator. We named our solution Advanced Auto Planner. The Advanced Auto Planner AI model is designed to use a safety-first approach and operates in two phases. Phase 1 forecasts the future state of the airspace to determine safe actions that avoid future conflicts. And Phase 2 provides best course of action based on ranking safe actions from understanding common aircraft characteristics. The AI model forecasts locations of all the aircrafts in real time and determines continuously the future state of the airspace that an air traffic controller is responsible for. The AI model captures the complex three-dimensional trajectories, including the waypoints in a flight plan for a given aircraft. In phase one, the AI model uses a lattice-based search space exploration technique with early cutoffs for determining safe actions. This allows the AI model to offer both explanations, why to take an action, and counterfactual explanations why to not take an action to an air traffic controller. In phase two, the AI model uses a rule-based approach to rank actions by optimality from the set of safe actions identified in phase one. The rules capture common aircraft characteristics such as preference to increase in altitude. Because at higher altitude, the air is thinner and thus results in improved fuel efficiency. A machine learning approach could be adopted in the future for action re-ranking based on fine-grained aircraft characteristics such as body type and maneuvering capabilities. When the AI model recommends a successful action to the pilot, the AI model tracks when the aircraft is safe to be brought back to its original course. We would now like to show you three scenarios handled by the Autoplanner solution in the NORSIM simulator. The separation minima needed in this sector is 5 nautical miles, but we have added a buffer. The advanced auto planner is not allowed to go below 6 nautical miles separation. First, we will see how the advanced auto planner identifies, assesses and solves a conflict between two aircraft using speed. At this time, we can see that both LFV042 and LFV050 have a conflict in about 12 minutes inside sector whiskey. Advanced Auto Planner is using its conflict search algorithm, identifying the conflict and looking for solutions on how to solve it. 
The two aircraft are now separated by 5.9 nautical miles on the same level, which is just below the buffer Advanced Auto Planner is using for safe separation. When aircraft LFE-042 enters the sector, 9 minutes before loss of separation, Advanced Auto Planner issues a clearance to increase the speed to Mach 0.78, a slight increase of the ground speed by 4 knots. The use of speed to solve this conflict is based on LFE's own ranking on how the Advanced Auto Planner should weigh the different solutions turn, speed, and altitude. We can see that the small increase of speed has also increased the predicted separation to 6.7 nautical miles, which is more than the minimum separation. Nine minutes later, we can see that the issued clearance for increase of speed ensured separation between the two aircraft. In scenario two, the advanced auto planner is using all three tools available, turn, speed, and altitude, for solving conflicts between three aircraft, LFV-900, LFV-915, and LFV-911, who are all at 40,000 feet. LFV-900, coming from the north, is given a clearance to increase the speed to Mach 0.86 at 10 knots speed increment and to turn 5 degrees to the right. This is to avoid the conflict with LFV-915 coming from the south. The separation between the two aircraft went from 6.1 nautical miles, which is on the verge of Autoplaner's minimum allowed distance, to around 13 nautical miles, which is well above the required distance. Simultaneously, LFV 911 from the east is given a climb to 41,000 feet, to avoid both LFV 900 from the north and LFV 915 from the south. Advanced Autoplaner now regards that LFV 900 is clear of LFV 915 and gives LFV 900 a new road clearance back to Waypoint Woody, outside Antwerp in Belgium. The aircraft uses its own navigation back to the original flight plan. The predicted separation is now 10 nautical miles, well above the safety margin Advanced Autoplaner is using for separation, but within what we in the project regard as efficient flight trajectories. We can now see that all three aircraft are separated according to aviation rules, either by at least 5 nautical miles, as between LFV 900 and LFV 915, or by at least 1000 feet, as between LFV 911 and the other two aircraft. In scenario 3, we would like to show you what happens if the pilots do not follow the instructions given by the advanced auto planner. LFE 957 in the northeast is given the instruction. 5 degrees right to turn behind LFE 970 coming from the west. The pilot on LFE 957, however, only turns 2 degrees for unknown reasons. The separation went from 2.9 to 4.4 nautical miles, which is still below the separation minima needed in this sector. The advanced auto planner identifies that the previous clearance is not sufficient and turns LFE 957 another 5 degrees to the right but again the pilot only turns by 2 degrees. The predicted separation is now 5.8 nautical miles, which is above the minimum separation needed, but still below the buffer used by Advanced Auto Planner. LFV 970 is now entering the sector and is promptly given a clearance to climb 1000 feet to avoid LFV 957, but again the pilot does not adhere to the clearance and stays at his altitude. Advanced Auto Planner now assesses that LFE 970 is not adhering to its clearance and turns LFE 957 a third time to the right, and this time the turn is sufficient to maintain separation according to the defined buffer. This shows that the Advanced Auto Planner follows up its instructions and is constantly making sure that these instructions are adequate to maintain the separations required. The project has developed a model that successfully separates aircraft and controls them safely and efficiently through the sector. In the next phase, we will include some of the more complex realities of air traffic control, including climbing and descending traffic, as well as various wind conditions. And we may enable the AI model to learn based on the interactions and choices by the air traffic controller, as well as simulators, to evolve and make better recommendations. We will also provide the controller with an HMI presenting proposed instructions and time for execution.